What is going on, Fight fans? So, we got a lot of information last week from the WBC National Convention, and it got me thinking about the game and the things that I truly want to see in it uh, for it to be a perfect boxing game to me, or a a great uh, Hall of Fame type boxing game. In today's video, I'm going to do a wish list of five things that I want to see in esports boxing club. If I see these five things, I will praise this game until the day I die. And, and I'll be honest, they're not easy to complete, but they're things that I've always wanted. This is Edward, and you're watching Boxing Fanatico. <music> All right, so of course this list is subjective. Um, I'm not gonna automatically have everything that you guys want. So that's why YouTube built a comment section. So down there, you can tell me what you guys want and if the developers are looking at these kinds of videos because these videos, the Boxing Fanatico uh, esports videos are doing very, very well. So. I'm sure that when they're looking at social media and and researching what what are the uh, what are the gamers and the audience saying, they're looking to funnels like this. So if you want to put your requests down in the comment section below, and of course hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, because the like button definitely helps the algorithm of the video. It tells YouTube that you guys love the video. That way they share it to more people. And we want to get the information out there for Esports Boxing Club to as many eyeballs as we can. All right, so let's jump into my top five wish list. And yes, I'm going to order them in terms of importance. So number one being the most important thing to me, and then number five being the least important of the most important things to me. So keep that in mind, even though it's number five, it's my top five list of what I want to see. First of all, the crux of what I'm going to talk about is gameplay. Gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. If they give me a good career mode, thank you. If they give me a good uh, online mode, thank you. I definitely want those things. I want those things. They're working on a good career mode of, in terms of what they've given us so far. They're working on a phenomenal phenomenal online tournament mode from what we know so far keep that up give us something good we'll be happy but if the core gameplay doesn't work none of those things matter so that's why the only thing that's in my top five is gameplay so but like i said my top five don't gotta be yours yours can be a career mode or create a character things like that mine is going to be gameplay also Honorable mention, yes, I want them to put in as many fighters as they can. I want Lomachenko, I want Ryan Garcia, Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather, who doesn't want him, Manny Pacquiao. I definitely want to see fighters I've never seen before. That would be awesome. Like Manny Pacquiao, we've seen him, but of course I want him here because of the dynamic with Floyd Mayweather and all that stuff. But I want to see like Adrian Broner, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr., Ryan Garcia, Mikey Garcia, Gervonta Tank Davis, Devin Haney, the Charlo brothers. I just, I want to see people that I've never seen in game form. That's, that's really what I would love to see, but you know, that's, that's an honorable mention, those things, because gameplay is where it's at for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about number five, better knockout mechanics. How many times have you played Fight Night Champions, especially during the early days before it was so crazy that they had to patch this? You're destroying the person, you're in the final round, and you're, you're coasting to a win. You've literally won every single round. And then the person you're fighting throws a right hook that glances you kind of like right on the top of the head and knocks you out cold, match over, you've lost. In online competition, how many times has this happened? Because, woof, it's happened a lot to me. And it, it was so frustrating because they've said in interviews and discussion, oh, you know, if they, somebody lands a perfect punch, it's like a perfect right hook or a perfect left hook or a perfect uppercut, something perfect, that's going to knock you out. It has to be perfect. And it didn't have to be perfect. It, it was like on a, on a random generator. That's all a, a random number generator. 
it was probably a low percentage. Like maybe there was a 1.6% chance that any punch could knock you out cold, but it was still random. It didn't build up. It didn't, it was just random, which I get it in boxing being knocked out cold is a random element, but that robs that, that, that gives some type of like a lottery system to people that are not that good. I remember in fight night champion, I literally was 72 and zero before my first loss that came from one of those miraculous last minute knockouts in which I was winning the entire fight. Uh, they later patched it right before a major tournament that I was partaking in. So I was glad that they patched it, but they brought it back in like a year or two later. And I just, it never felt good to me. It don't matter if you put that thing at 0.01%. It just never feels good, especially when you're winning or when it's a good fight or something and you just get knocked out cold. No, they need better knockout mechanics. It needs to be systematic. Uh, things like what UFC is doing is kind of okay where if the person is swinging, there's a higher percentage because they're so open. Uh, that's better. It, it just can't be that someone brushed over my head and all of a sudden I'm knocked out. There has to be better hit detection and it needs to be things like if you hit somebody on the chin, it might knock them out. It might really rock them. If you hit somebody on the top of their head, it can knock them out, but it has more possibility to wobble them because the chin is the button hit where you can shake the brain a little bit more. So just, you know, those kind of things, I, I prefer it to be that the hit detection to be that heavy. So have a hit detection for right here and a hit detection for right here. And not not anything where and and then have like and then have like plus minuses like if somebody skims them on the head, yeah maybe wobble them but it's not gonna you know it's not gonna knock them out. Also, when it comes to somebody being rocked, I want them to look like they're rocked. I want them to look like they're just like. You know what I'm saying? Wobbly legs. They're putting, you're trying to defend, you're trying to do as much as you can, but your legs are all over the place. I want to see the spaghetti leg mechanic. I want to see the heightened aggression that you could apply as the, the offensive fighter when you see someone is brutally hurt. I want to see the person trying to grab on and like moving all over the place. I want to see the chaos that you get from someone actually being rocked. With the fight night games, they'll just get rocked. And even with like UFC games from what I've seen online, they get rocked, but it's like they're still kind of the same. It's not like crazy, like dramatic. I want it to be crazy dramatic like it is in the actual uh, uh, boxing. All right, so number four, I want to see interactive referee involvement let's be honest guys maybe it's not important maybe the thing with me is that everything i think about in terms of boxing games is how can i make it as realistic to actual boxing what when i watch boxing what are the elements that i'm seeing in boxing that that i just want recreated so that subconsciously i just feel like i'm i'm playing a real life boxing match Referee involvement is one of the hugest things that are that that is missing from all of the combat sport games. The referee is always involved. He's constantly breaking them up. He's constantly he's constantly telling them to pick up their punches. He's he's cleaning their gloves when they get knocked out. He's telling the other fighter to go to the to the neutral corner. He's counting. He's looking at the other fighter. He's checking cuts. You know what I mean? He's t he's doing so much. He's breaking up clinches. He's telling people to stop pushing. He's telling people to... It, there's so many things that a referee is doing consistently all the time. And for them to just, you know, uh, you, you don't see him really. And then at the when you get knocked down, you'll, 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 he'll be on screen. And to raise your hand at the end, that's all they put the referee there for. No, the, get, get, the referee needs to have more vital and more interactive role. We, we should be able to be a little sneaky, you know? We should be able to be, like, that should be a, a technical element that you actually learn how to be sneaky, how to get away with certain things. Because that's part of boxing. That's literally part of how a boxing fight unfolds. You try to win by any means necessary within the rules and you try to bend the rules a little bit and that dynamic is true to life. I get it is not 
I get it, you're breaking the rules, but it's true to life. Uh, so what can you get away with? What can't you get away with? What type of referee you have? Referee temperaments, stuff like that. That way, you know, picking a referee could actually be a thing where you can say, hey, this is the type of referee I want. This is the type. Things like that can make it more realistic, more true to life, which is what I'm aiming for. And number three from my list is varied slash realistic clinching technical gameplay. So I want true clinching variations. I, I literally want to be able to try to get my arm out, you know, dirty boxing, throwing some punches in, uh, trying to, you know, grabbing someone, grabbing someone intelligently when you're hurt, when you're trying to rest, when you're trying to pull them, push them up to the ropes. But I want it to be realistic. I don't want it to be like fight night where it's just like, here's a hug mechanic and the hug is just like this. And then the guy pushes you away and then here's the hug mechanic and then the guy pushes you and it all looks somewhat similar. If your head's down, they'll hug you on the top and then you push away. That's not clinching. Clinching, it doesn't work like that. You can literally have like a clinching kind of animation transition happen when the fighters are too close to each other where they just start grabbing and then the, the fighting mechanic starts to kind of uh, is smoothly transition into a different type of fighting mechanic and then things can happen in there you know and then the referee can come and pull them away or or let them fight it out if there's uh, punches being landed things like that I, I i want the clinching this is critical to me too i want the clinching to be as true to life as possible i get it they're not going to be able to make it so true to life because it's so varied that clinching system is there's so much going on but they got to put at least 20 to 30 different varied animations that work organically uh, switching through these different animations based off of the things that are happening with how I'm controlling my fighter versus how the other person is controlling their fighter and trying to get the upper hand within that clinch involvement. Definitely having a dynamic clinch system is going to make the game much more realistic. Moving on to my number two most important thing that I want to see in Esports Boxing Club is better footwork. I want, I don't just want to be able to do this and I'm gonna come in with the little head movement sidestep thing. I wanna be able to widen my step for better range in terms of upper body movement. I wanna be able to move cross laterally quickly, a la Lomachenko, how he can get to your side. I wanna be able to get to someone's side quickly if I'm good at footwork. I don't want it to be easy. I don't want it to just be a free for all. You have to be delicate with how you create these mechanics, but if you can be good, if you're good at timing, if you're good at movement, then you can get to someone's side. You can move that well. You can widen your stance, shorten your stance. You can set your feet up for a straight right where you're preparing to hit the straight right and then move into a defensive position. Just certain things, just movement. Footwork is like everything in boxing it's 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 literally like combat ballet and if they can implement a good footwork system i think that just be mind-blowing to me i would love to be able to control my fighter more intelligently and deeper uh maybe with their hardcore mode they'll have that kind of a system because they don't want it to be too convoluted for the casual gamers but find a way where casual gamers can pick up play feel good about what they're doing but that the most experienced players can can really grab all of these elements and and really take you know full control of everything that the footwork to me is super important only second to my number one thing which we're going to move on to right now and my number one thing is full blown limb control yes 100 percent limb control i want to be able to test the range bring the hand back do the philly shell defense do the peekaboo defense do any type of defense that i want on the fly because i have full limb control i want to be able to do the shoulder roll like legitimately do the shoulder roll not just what you know what fight night champion was doing that's not the shoulder i want to be able to let the punches ramp off the top of my shoulder right clear my head and me come in with a perfect counter uppercut just like floyd mayweather would do i want to be able to 
have that full control and have that limb control system work with even the whole clinching game, how I can get maybe my hand out, hold on to somebody's hand so they can't pull it out, maybe throw some right cross, defend while I'm in the clinch with one hand while I have my other hand out, you know, test the jab, you know, like maybe have like a, a modifier, maybe use some modifiers with the top triggers the, where you can have limb control where for defense and then you can have limb control for, for testing the jab and then just limb control for straight punching and combinations. I think that that that's something that's super um, uh, possible to do, very easy to do, and we already got a taste with what Fight Night Champions was able to do, but because they're not beholden to the elements of MMA, like UFC, they can do this, and they have so much real estate on the control to add this because they don't have to worry about a ground game. All they have to worry about is a clinch game and punching. That's it. No kicks, no anything, just clinch and punching. That's like easy because look at everything that that has to be done for the mma games that's so much stuff that, that they're using so many different things to create different things that you can do in those games and we don't need none of that stuff so if they can do full limb control they have to do it smart uh maybe if you know you you're on the left side you move your left hand you move your right hand and if you you know go through the center you'll move both hands maybe for a push off or something I don't know because obviously you're never really like with both hands out so maybe you can control one limb by moving the analog in one direction and then in moving it in the right direction you control the other limb and then you'll hit the modifier for for uh, defense then it changes how his movements are with the limbs I mean it, it's, it's very doable of course they have to sit down with the developers and the technicalities of how they're gonna pull it off but I think if they do that because of the multiple possible things that you can do and how much control you will have, you will truly feel like everything you're doing is in your control, 100%. And it will make you feel like what happened to you, positive, be it positive or negative, was warranted because that's what, because because that's how much you knew at the time or how much how you defended yourself throughout that fight or how your offense was throughout that fight. So I think that limb control is one of the greatest things that they could apply to this game. And if they do that, I'm I'm going to love them. If they put all five of these things for my wish list, it's my mind is just going to blow up and I'm not going to know what to do with myself. That's it. Like I'm just going to be too happy. It's going to be too over the top. Uh, but of course, you know, like I mentioned, create a fighter, something that I want to see. But my picks were always going to be based on gameplay. So let me know, what do you guys think? What are the top five things that you want to see? And hopefully the developers take a look at this video. And I know that they're releasing in December, uh, late December. But, you know, maybe they have an opportunity to tweak some things here and there if they have it. Or if they're already doing these things. Then they can put a then it can put a smile on their face and make them feel even more confident about their game. Put your top five in the comment section below. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.